Kuntula, an old tradition originally from Malaysia. Shadow puppets. Originated in countries such as Egypt and Turkey, Nangtalung shadow puppet shows were introduced to Southeast Asia in countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, and the south of my country, Thailand, in small villages of Nakhon Si Thamalai. Master Sucha Subsen has been a puppet maker and puppeteer for over 50 years. In 1986, he was honored by His Majesty the King of Thailand for keeping the ancient art form alive. Master Subsin is the most known Chado puppet maker in the world and has been invited overseas to showcase his talents. Along with his family, Master Sucha makes puppets and performs to the public. The puppet master has turned his home and the puppet factory into a museum. This is something I grew up with uh, back in my country, Malaysia. So when I came up with First Bite, a story influenced deeply by Southeast Asian mythology. It only makes sense that I should feature the puppets as a storytelling device. The shows Master Shu Cha traditionally performs are really classical tales about ancient figures and characters. So it's an honor that he agreed to create new puppets and perform specifically for First Bite. Here we are developing those characters with the help of my assistant director and also translator boy. The puppets are made from three test cow hides which are dry and scraped to make as thin as possible. Once the hides are ready to sculpt, Master Sucha draws the outline of the puppet on them using a special pen light scraper. Under the careful eye of Master Sucha, his son is in charge of cutting the height to the shape of the desired puppet. Special razor sharp tools are used to cut and puncture the height. This is perhaps the most challenging process of making the puppet because one false move can cost them a few days work, not to mention a valuable cow hide. Once cut to shape, Master Sucha's wife at price pigments and dust to bring the puppets to life. Bamboo sticks are attached to their backs and arms to facilitate manipulation. I was honored and really lucky that Master Su Chao was willing to tailor his performance to suit the film's subject. He really put a lot of work into it, and I'm amazed at how involved he was in the whole process. The 
The puppets are placed behind the screen with a strong light projecting silhouette on the screen. The puppeteer manipulates the movement of the puppets accompanied by live percussion and traditional string instrument. I am glad to know Master Suchar is continuing to keep the art form alive. He's cursed. The only way he can be in water is to be inside her. So, she swallowed him. She eats her love. And of course, I have to stress that the way the puppets are used in First Bite are strictly fictitious and portrayed by taking great creative liberty. Even with death as a climax? Of course. The greatest passion is rewarded with greatest death. And lovers begin a new life as one spirit. Chase me till the sidewalk ran 